listen i had no idea you guys were gonna go in so freaking hard about a week ago i asked you guys to send me pictures of your favorite pieces from your favorite boutiques and you all literally went in now i'm super happy that you guys are interested in these videos but y'all really really threw me in the deep end when it came to the skirt all right uh in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make the briella full leather pencil skirt with the ruffled hem all right um at first i wasn't sure exactly how i was gonna handle this skirt because as you guys know or may not know leather isn't a material like it's not a fabric it's not a woven fabric it is a synthetic skin all right so the way we stitch faux leather or leather in general is very very different from how we would stitch uh regular material all right so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to construct this skirt and without further ado let's go ahead and get started i'm just gonna lay out my faux leather fabric lay out my pattern pieces get those cut out and then we're gonna start our construction Now, as you guys know, I do not have a serger, so the seam finishes that I usually use is the basic front seam. And the first thing that I'm going to do is mark where my zipper is going to stop. So that little snip there is called a notch. And after we do that, the first thing that we're going to stitch are our dots. Alright, because this is the back pattern, our dart usually goes... Uh, as low as five inches long between four and a half and five inches is perfectly fine okay and this is just something to consider guys when you are stitching your full leather Usually we would back stitch at the beginning of every stitch and at the end of every stitch but don't back stitch like you're stitching regular fabric because it's going to create a cut in the uh, faux leather. Alright, try to back stitch by feeding the wheel back into the previous holes and try not to create any new holes. That's just something to consider when stitching leather or full leather. Alright, so now that our darts are stitched up, we are just going to close up our back pieces. Alright, and of course we are leaving the opening for our zipper. You all already know how these front seams go. Okay wrong sides facing each other we are stitching on the right side quarter of an inch and then we are trimming one eighth of an inch after that is trimmed off we are just gonna turn our skirt to the wrong side and stitch a quarter of an inch to close off our front seam now just take your time with this part guys remember it is full leather so make sure everything is nice and flat okay So this is the front pattern and the first thing we're going to do is put a snip at the top and bottom in the center so that we know where our the center of our skirt is and we're just going to stitch our dots. Okay, because it's the front of the skirt, these dots usually extend to about three or three and a half inches. 
four inches is fine as well just depending on your body type okay so once that is complete we are just going to attach our front to our back and of course we'll be closing that with a front seam as well you all already know how it goes <laughs> trim one eighth of an inch snip and trim one eighth of an inch and then we're gonna turn our skirt inside out close off our front seams fantastic snip great so now let's just go ahead and put on our waistband guys all right I'm just making sure that all our seams are nice and clean This is just something to consider as well this full leather does have a bit of stretch but it only stretches in one direction all right so the body of the skirt it is going to stretch uh, to fit your hips but the waistband of the skirt should not stretch to fit your waist so in other words when you cut your waistband uh, it shouldn't have any stretch at all all right, it should be stretching vertically instead of horizontally. So we're just putting our zipper on. If you guys want me to create a separate video showing you guys different methods to put zippers on, I'd be happy to do so. Just leave me, uh, leave me your request in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to make that happen for you guys. Okay, nice and clean. And I'm just gonna close off that front seam to finish off our zipper. Okay. All right. So this is how our skirt should currently be looking, guys. Now I'm just going to put a top stitch at the top of our waistband. Right. And full leather does have a tendency to ripple a lot, so you just have to be kind to it. <laughs> okay smoothen it out caress it and allow it to flow the way you want it to flow okay so now we are going to create our ruffles 
and these are just regular circle circle flare ruffles guys okay we are gonna attach those two together and this is gonna be one tier of our ruffles okay so one of our tiers is eight inches and the other tier is six inches and that's what gives you the layered type of effect okay and as usual we are closing these off with front seams okay so once that is completed we're just gonna do the same thing to the other tier and lay both of our tiers together now you can attach each tier separately or you can attach them together and Treat the both tiers like one tier when you're attaching it to the body of your skirt. Alright, but you just take your time. There's no real method to attaching this part to the skirt. Just because depending on how you pleat your ruffles, depending on how you fold them, it's going to determine the type of uh, flow that the ruffles give you. So it's all up to you. You could just kind of play around with it and... stitch to suit all right so we are attaching the waffle city body of our skirt with a front seam as well We're trimming off one eighth of an inch and then we turned our skirt inside out and we're gonna close off that front seam with a quarter of an inch stitch all right I'm not I'm also not using too many pins guys because this is leather all right that's just something to consider Okay, and there you have it. That is the end of our Fashion Nova DIY full leather pencil skirt. And this is how it looks. I did also make this matching top to go with it. Alright, if you guys want a DIY tutorial on how I made the top, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. But this was just a last minute decision after I made the skirt and I wanted to style the outfit. Alright, so that is the end of my video guys. If you all enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, do not forget to leave me a like, leave me a comment in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!